Uh, okay, right. Hello and welcome back. We're going to continue with Monkey Island 2. Or, I hope everyone's doing well this time. Today, tonight, whatever it is. Yeah, as I said. <laughs> We're going to continue with Monkey Island 2 this time. Uh, seeing as I started it last time, last night. After finishing Monkey Island 1. So, let's get on to it. Lame O copy protection. Now we don't have to worry about this. Peg leg rock. Ugh. Liver cubes. Pig feet. Uh, 34 and 55. But we don't need to do that. Actually, we do. Because I can't open a menu until I'm past that. So, yes, last time we had actually gotten up to. Uh, where was it? Ah, yes. We had just gotten up to the part of scaring Largo Legrand off of Scab Island. <clears throat> so we could actually leave this island now. We, you, we created and used this voodoo doll on him, which doesn't look anything like him, but whatever. Uh, we already have an inventory full of useless, random junk. Including wood polish, <laughs> which I don't think we can use on anything else. Wood polish on skull? I don't want to polish that. What about the knife? Use knife with wood polish. My scout master. Okay, what about the wood polish on the knife? I don't want to polish that. What about the shovel? Oh. Use stick with wood polish. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, on the stick. Well, it is made of wood. Okay, well... After that, uh, after scaring, well, during the process of scaring Largo Legrand off of Scab Island, or torturing him off the island, uh, apparently Guybrush had had the beard of LeChuck the whole time, just in his pants wriggling around, and he decided that was a great moment to show it to Largo, when Largo promptly swiped it and ran off with it, saying that they could resurrect LeChuck going to the voodoo lady over in the next room over here. That is apparently correct. They are able to resurrect LeChuck as long as they have any living part of his body. Oh joy. So apparently he's going to be coming back. She says to how to deal with that is to continue doing what we were planning on doing anyway which is uh, searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Which is somewhere. People have mentioned it a few times. The unimaginable, I don't know, wonder of it. And that its location is a secret. It could be on a place called Dinky Island, Inky Island, Drinky Island. Everyone seems to have their own stories about it. We did get this book here though. The uh, voodoo lady gave it to us. Saying that she had borrowed it out in our name. And we should return it to the library because their late fees are rather hefty. That is on a place called Fat Island. So, we'll be going there soon. So, let's have a look at this book. Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here, there are four pirates. Rapscallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain Good Heavens. Captain Marley. Well, I'm sure there's lots of people with the name Marley. I wonder if there's any re 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 relation. They buried their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rapscallion later opened a steam and weenie hut on Scab Island. Hey, we've seen that place. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck, until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed, he, he marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until he recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leading at the time. Hmm. 
So, we've actually heard that story before. I think we got told about it by the, uh... Men of low moral fiber in uh, Wood Tech. If it wasn't them, it was someone else. It might have been the two pirates on the beach. As I said, a few people have mentioned it. So yes, yeah, so that's an overall... Uh, that's an overview of what we're going to be doing next. Assumably, if they each had part of this map, we're going to be having to find each of the four parts of this map wherever they ended up. So, let's have a look on the beach where this steaming weenie hut was. Apparently owned by Rapscallion. There it is. Steaming weenies. 20 feet. Uh, hmm, this door appears to be locked. Well, can we look at the place? Look at Weenie Hut. Looks closed. Well, that's um awkward. We can't get there. Assumably, if he died in there, Rapscallion would be located in the graveyard so, graveyard on uh, Scab Island. But I don't think we saw a grave with his name on it. Let's go have a look. Mm. The rickets. No trespassing. Nope. Sand's cozy crypts are a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Hmm. The quagmires. No trespassing. Nope. And that one was like a quarantine place. So I don't think it actually had a name on it. The grouts. No trespassing. And I don't think any of these crosses are relevant. And uh, I don't believe it was up there either. Hmm. I have to find a register or something. So, with that, we can actually leave the island now, because LIGO is no longer somehow impounding everyone's ships. How one man can do that is a mystery for the ages, but maybe he's just that fearsome. We also have a whole bunch of money. 421 gold um, pieces of eight. Which we got from the... Uh, what's it called? Which we got from the chef in uh, the Bloody Lip bar in Woodtech where he paid us a week's week's worth of wages in advance which was very nice of him and then we promptly scarped out the window <laughs> anyway hey Captain Dread it's me again so I see what can I do for you this time on uh why can't I charge your ship oh yeah right like I said before mon I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world, sailing necklace. Okay, fine. So, even though Largo has gone, there's still that issue. Come again. Well, <clears throat> we don't have an eye which has seen the world. However, if you remember, we were talking to Wally, the cartographer, and that cartographer has seen the world. He said that he's seen pretty much, he, he's pretty much mapped the entire world. Uh, though we can't take one of Wally's eyes. I don't think he would be very appreciative of that. Though we did uh, nab his monocle. Everything looks all blurry, blurry and in a kind of... Oh, what would you call it? Hmm. In a kind of substitution way, substitution way, yeah, his monocle would have seen the whole world. So let's give the monocle to Captain Drake. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, Mon. This would do just fine for my lucky sailing necklace. Okay. What can I do for you? Uh, I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Largo has been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is... That you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, Mon. Consider my ship chartered. Great. What? Where's your ship? You're standing in it, Mon. Yikes. Part two. Four map pieces. Hmm. 
Oh. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies Lechuk's fortress. So, when are we going to resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threepwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never your voodoo, Lordship. Aye, Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. Yeah, uh, don't ask who that skull-faced sort of voodoo guy is. Oh, Garbrush just said something. It's like, I'm on my way to fortune or something, I think. Yep, don't ask who that skull-faced voodoo guy in the middle there was. Uh, I think that's the only time he shows up. <laughs> he might have had a bigger part planned, but... Just know that Lechuk is able is able to have voodoo stuff done to him, done for him, by that guy. What's this? Parrot chow? It has a picture of a parrot on the front. I wonder how this ship sails. It's like half a ship. <laughs> well, it's there, and you know we can always do with more inventory. Yoink! It has a picture of a parrot on the front. Uh, can we open it? It's empty. Really? Oh, okay. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know, one of my choices. I'd just like to cruise aimlessly for a while. I'd like to get back to the island I just left. I don't know, one of my choices. We don't actually have a map. I only know how to get to three islands, Bond. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island, the festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island. Apparently Elaine is a fascist dictatorship run by an overbloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy to read reference map courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Ah, oh, thanks. Apparently, um, Governor Morley has a uh, governorship over multiple islands. So there's Scab Island, where we started off, there's Fat Island, and there's Booty Island. We can't go there, Mod, that's the Forbidden Triangle. We can't go there, Mod, that's the Forbidden Square. Forbidden Pentagon. Forbidden Circle. Forbidden Hexagon. Forbidden Parallelogram. Forbidden Octagon. Forbidden Trapezoid. Forbidden Rhombus. Forbidden Dihedron. Forbidden Ellipsy. Forbidden Dodeca Dodecadon. Dodecagon. Forbidden Ovoid. Arcosahedron. Cardioid. Forbidden Taurus. Lemniscate. Parallel Biped. Frustrum. Helix. Oblate Spheroid. Convex Region. Elliptic Hyperboloid. Forbidden right circular conic cross section. <laughs> what? <laughs> Eccentric cylindrical projection. Parallelogram. Isohed. Icosahedron. I think it's repeating. Yep. Helix. Yep. Sure. Okay. Well. It says that whatever. <laughs> wherever you click. It's just. You can't go there. Only to these three places. So. Mm, where should we go first? At or Booty Island? Do 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 Let's go to Fat Island. I feel like we should be having different music over this. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Yes? 
Uh, do you guy wash three pood? That's right, I'm the man who swashed the ghost pirate LeChuck's buckles. Who wants to know? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. I'm really in a hurry. <laughs> Who wants to know? I'm with the local constable const constabulary, sir. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. Uh, all right, I'll come with you. Am I under arrest? I'm really very busy. Can we do this another time? Am I under arrest? <laughs> if you want to put it that way, sir, yes. Oh, all right, let's go. Coming! <laughs> I don't see why you don't just run again, because it's only like a one-shot pistol. Fleet block. Well, Mr. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Oh, why is that? I can't say as I care much for your method of invitation. Thank you, your home is lovely. Would you like to hear the story of the time I blew the Chuck's top? Look, I'm really in quite a rush. Thank you, your home is lovely. You have an eye for the finer things, Mr. Threepwood. I admit my tastes run to the expensive. <laughs> to the expansive is more like it. How do you manage to afford it? <laughs> yes, I've had to indulge in a bit of a creative financing. But I've just made a deal that will keep the bill collectors out of here for a long time. And then you're a governor. Now, I suppose he'd have to pay like... You're selling your old clothes to make circus tents? Melting down your silverware to build an oil pipeline? Renting yourself out to ship captains as ballast? Selling advertising space in your stomach? <laughs> oh really? What's that? Obviously you say these more humorous things and he just gets, anno just gets annoyed at you. I mean, you know, they are more amusing. <laughs> oh really? What's that? I'm selling you, Mr. Threepwood, to the ghost pirate LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. I suppose compared to you. Last time you saw him? Oh no! The truck's back! I beg your pardon, did you say something? I took care of the truck once, I can do it again! He doesn't scare me, just tell me where I can find him. Could I hide out here for a while? <laughs> Can I hide out here for a while? You can hide out until LeChuck comes to pick you up. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. Whatever bounty LeChuck's offering, I'll double it. I guess that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? <laughs> Whatever bounty LeChuck's offering, I'll double it. Ha ha ha. Very amusing, Mr. Threepwood. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Come on. Amazing he's able to fit through the door. Don't try to escape or anything. No, oh, I wouldn't dream about it. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, well, I'll be back to relieve you at 11. And the dog? Okay. Rock hard mattress. I hope I don't have to sleep here. Can we use it? I don't want to. Okay. Look at Walt. What a ferocious looking dog. Really? Talk to Walt. Hello, little doggy. Uh... Look at cell door. Open cell door. The door's locked. Surprisingly. Nice cell door. <laughs> what about this dead guy? A fine example of dieting gone horribly wrong. Hmm. Yeah, obviously, of course, Walt here is a reference to, I assume, Walt Disney and also the Disney ride of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. 
So, hmm. Uh, let us pick up the mattress. Oh, there's a thingy underneath it. A stick. It's a stick. Pick up the stick. Can we use the stick with wool? E. We are. Ah. Pick up small key. I can't reach it. Oh, the. Well, he brought the stick back, and then he picks up the keys again. Pick up stick. It's a stick. <laughs> well, maybe if we try it again? Oh yeah. Oh, it's a good dog. Uh, thank you. But I don't think that's helping. They let us keep our money, but we have 401 gold um, pieces of eight. Uh, well, can we use the stick on the cell door? That doesn't seem to work. There's no lock. Can we use it as a rock-hard mattress? We can beat it to be, uh, to be softer. Nope. Dead prisoner. Oh, there's a bone there. It's a tibia. Can we pick it up? I can't reach it. Maybe if we use the stick. I mean, there's not much else we can do. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the bone master for nothing. Dog. Pick up bone. Got the bone. It's a tibia. Uh, can we use the bone on the cell door? Nope. Well, okay. Use the bone with Walt. Here, doggy doggy. Here, boy. Dog. And he dropped the keys closer. Look at small key. Nice small key. <laughs> small key in cell door. Yay. We're out. Use the small key. Can we open this cell? Nope. We have to go back inside the cell to be able to look at him. Well, we got out of there pretty easily. Uh, and what are these? Gorilla envelope? Mr. Willy Gorilla. Arrested for grinding his organ in public. Okay, what about this manila envelope? Mr. Guybrush Threepwood. Arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Yeah, there was a wanted poster outside for us. Yeah, let's pick that up. And we'll pick up this gorilla envelope as well. Uh, yeah, okay, that's ours. Can we open it? Hey, that tickles. Ah, our inventory. I feel whole again. Uh, what about this gorilla envelope? There's a banana in here. And an organ. Um, okay. I mean, it was bizarre enough that they managed to fit all of our crap into this envelope. How do they fit an organ in the uh, envelope? What a big organ! Can we use it? I don't know how to play. Okay. <laughs> uh, not musically inclined, I suppose. Oh wait, can we close that door? <laughs> close door! Oh, you can! I was going to say, maybe, say, there's no door. But you can actually close it. Will you look at that? There's a door there, but we can't go in there. What's this poster? If I could read, I'd spend all my free time at the Fat Library, Fat City Library. Reginald Blackbeard. Can we pick up the poster? No thanks, I've got enough trouble in this town. Okay. What about Guybrush? What about this poster? Someone drew a moustache on it. Wanted! Guybrush Threepwood. Hey, that's me! For the murder of G.P. LeChuck. General practitioner? Practitioner? Also for the use of witchcraft on a person of Largo Legrand. The thievery of clothing and medically prescribed hair supplements for such witch witchcraft. Grave robbing. Trespassing. Larceny without a permit. Exceeding allowable FDA limit for rodent parts in Vichyssois. Unauthorized exiting from a penal institution. And releasing a dangerous reptile in a populated area. Also wanted to questioning regarding the disappearance of prescription eyewear. Reward offered for information leading to the suspect's apprehension. Threepwood is to be considered armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous? Right on! Yeah, they gotta fear our mighty organ. 
Or I'm armed with a banana. Uh. Okay, well, here's the library. Let's go in. That's a lot of books. There's a card catalog there. Look at books. There are so many books here. I'll never be able to find anything. Hmm. Shh. Oh. Quiet in the library. Yep. This is a library! Yeah. Not like there's anyone else here. Whatever. Talk to librarian. Uh, excuse me. Hi, I'm looking for a book. Want to hear a fantastic ghost story? Shh. This is a library. Whisper. Now what is it? There's a bit, there's the uh, Lucasfilm symbol on the wall there. Uh, I'm looking for a book. Why do you have a model lighthouse here? There's a new lighthouse being built in town. That is a scale model of what it will look like. I like that guybrush turned around. It's very attractive for a lighthouse. Does it work? Why do you need a lighthouse? Uh, it's very attractive for a lighthouse. Yes, and it will be very bright too. It will have one of the most powerful magnifying lenses in the Caribbean. I'd show you with the model, but unfortunately the bulb has burnt out. Bulb? Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No, no, how do I get one? I must have left it in my other pants. Uh, no. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name. Guybrush Threepwood, Captain Dread, Herman Toothrot. Yeah, well, I'll just be honest. Guybrush Threepwood. You can put anything on it. Address? 221B Baker Street. <laughs> 10 Downing Street. That one, I think, is Sherlock Holmes. That is the, uh, what's it called? Prime Minister's residence in uh, London, I'm pretty sure. 1060 West Addison. Don't actually know off the top of my head, and 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Again, that one also goes over my head. Uh, 221, 221B, 10 221B, whatever it was, my age. Um, 21, uh, 21, 19, uh, 21. Fine. Only 21? Occupation? Consult, freelance, unemployed, pirate. Well, we are a pirate. We earned that in the last game. Vices. Why do we have to have vice? Nose picking, jaywalking, murder, arson, theory, thievery, that sort of thing. Well, we're not a murderer. Have we set anything on fire? We have theft. We, ha we are a th thief, like every good adventure game protagonist. Murder, arson, thievery, that th sort of thing. I see. Alright, your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. Oh, great. In the meantime, take this temporary card. Oh, thanks. You may check book books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? I don't know, what have you got? <laughs> Whoops, I just remembered an appointment. I don't know, what have you got? You expect me to name every book in the library? Use the card catalog like a normal person. Okay, fine. Maybe you could have given me some uh, suggestions. She looks kind of surly. Please be quiet. Don't call me Shirley. Um, let's look at the card catalog. Okay, A. What's this? Biography. Yikes! Memoirs of Captain Gilbert. Body. Unusual birthmarks. Breakfast. Breakfasts at Meat Hooks. Hey, we know Meat Hook. Business. How to make friends and influence people. By Bluebeard. Biography. A fistful of barnacles. Journal of Captain Twiddlymore. Biography. Lick the Silver Spoon. By L. Fat. 
I think that's the governor. Biography. Me and Blackbeard. Biography. The time I blew up LeChuck. Questionable memoirs of Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> Guybrush Threepwood's got his own book. We remember that. Big Whoop. See Treasure. Biography. Both hands empty. The Herman Toothrot story. Biography. Both hands moving. The stand story. Certainly does have his hands moving. Biography. Both heads empty. The Fettuccini Brothers story. Uh, did I put? Yep. Archaeology. X never marks the spot by I. Jones. Art. Vagueness as an art form. Art. Philosophy. Idealism or surrealism. Philosophy. Art textbook. Uh, beverages. Beverages for everyone. This sounds like the type of book that you'd get if you're an art student. Uh, adult entertainment. Zelda Carbuncle tells all. Memories of a woman of dubious pleasure. Animatronics. Animatronics by Walt Whimsy. Animatronics. Under the Surface by Walt Whimsy. Annotation. See footnoting. <laughs> okay, let's see footnoting. Uh, there we go. F. Food. Life size and, life size and larger. Food. Rats as a protein source. Uh, also see cannibalism. Footnoting. See vicious pedan pedantry. Okay. Uh, would that be under V? Visions. Volcanoes. Vegetables. Vicious, vicarious living. Vices. 101 vices. <laughs> vicious pedantry. See Dewey Decimal System. Okay, uh, let's go to that then. Disease, disease, dogs, crafts, uh, cross-reference, cryptology. Wait, why is Dewey Decimal System? See, organize, organizational schema. Okay, uh, under O. Obscenity. <laughs> what's that? What's, what's that sort? <laughs> and symbol. Pound symbol, something or other, hash symbol, symbol uh, symbolic equivalence of obscene words and phrases. Organizational schema. See labyrinths. Music. Nope. M M M L. Labyrinths. See zip codes. Yup. Why is Z up the back here? Why is... wait. X, 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 Y, Y, Y. Oh, it's from front to back. Yiddish. Feh, and other useful terms. Zippers, zipper theory. Zirconium, the most beautiful element. Zoology, just one of the primates. Zoology, zoo animals more intelligent than humans. Uh, Zinjanthropus, Pirates of the Phila. Please, please to see. Please to see. Zip codes, C indexes. I think it's. Has it wrapped around yet? Keel hauling. Idols. Igloos. Ice cream. Imaginary numbers. The new tax laws, light fiction. Indexes, C indices. Indices, C titles. How long is this going to go on for? Ulcers? Why you shouldn't worry about ulcers. Underwear. Tree surgery. Trilogies. Why people shouldn't write trilogies. Trilogies. Why people won't read trilogies. Wait, hang on. <laughs> why people shouldn't write trilogies. Why people won't read trilogies. Trilogies. Why people write trilogies anyway. <laughs> I suppose when you've done it yourself. Toenails, modern toenail collector. Toys, collectible toy trucks. Travel, the Caribbean on no dollars a day. Pirate handbook, well that would be useful. Treasure, big whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth. Actually, we already have that book. Theatre, beyond hearts and question marks. Shadow, shadow puppetry for the two hook pirate. That would be useful for meat hook. Three headed monkey, the pride of Loch Ness. Titles, see headings. Okay. Humor, history, headings, 
See cross reference. Groupings. See catalogs. It's just going to give us a run around if we've already picked it up. But there's a lot of books here, which we could check all of them forever, pretty much. It's just rather impressive. Sin, the hidden sins of calculus. Top seven deadly sins. Surgery, operating without a net. Spiritual, over the crow's nest. Slang pirates, shiver me timbers. See also language. Is there something under R? Let's see. R. Uh, romance, no. Romance, romance. Sin sordid swang song by Melanie. Melanie Leary. Uh, romance, nope. Romance, no, romance, no, romance. Why is there so many romance books? Recursion, see recursion. There we go. Recipes voodoo. The joy of hex. 101 essential voodoo recipes. Hmm. Referential obscurant obscurantism. See groupings. Ranching, see lice. Ew. Pillaging, masters of pillaging interviews with some of the best. Okay, well, obviously there's a lot of books. And uh, most of them have nothing to do with us. So I think you can read them. I think they do each have little blurbs. I'm going to rent out that book, which I remembered. I'm looking for a book, and I'm going to see whether Guybrush has anything to say about it. Well, two of them. Do you have idealism or surrealism? Hey. Oh, it's just there. Okay, here you go. Anything else? Uh, I'd like the time I blew up LeChuck. Whee! <laughs> okay, here you go. It's the only joy she gets from her job. Maybe. Maybe she really likes being a library. I won't be needing any more books just now. Remember, silence is golden. It would be very, um... I think it would be quite pleasant just ordering all the books. Anyway, we've got two books. Uh, idealism or Surrealism? Idealism or Surrealism? This is a pretty useless book. I'm not even sure why I checked it out. Okay, I think, I assume most of them say that then. Now look at, at the time I blew up the chuck. The time I blew up the chuck. I can't believe I'm reading my own memoirs. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's just give them back. Uh, give. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll give this one back. Thank you. And we can also give that, uh, this book back, Big Whoop, because it is under our name. Rather surprising that we didn't get another card issued to us. I wonder if you can say that. I wonder if you say I've lost it and she'll ask you what your name is. And give you a replacement card. That didn't actually occur to me. Anyway. Uh, there's this little model lighthouse here. This looks like a lighthouse on a beach. Yeah. This is a library. Open the model lighthouse. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. Please be quiet. Uh, pick up the model lighthouse lens. Yoink. Everything looks all blurry. That's similar to the monocle. You're disturbing people. Can we close it again? Uh oh, it's stuck. I think I broke it. Lower your voice. Okay, well, let's get out of here. And close the door. Let's go to this alley. No more bets. Okay, here we go. Fourteen red. All right. You're a winner, sir. What prize would you like? What have you got left? We have money. An invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party. And a three-day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. I'd like the money. The money it is. Hmm. It's a big wheel. Care to make a bet? Nice wheel. What about the dealer? 
He's the wheel operator. Hello. How you doing? Could you explain how this game works? I think it's just a big roulette wheel, really. really? Or, you know. Do many other people come here to play? Lots of people come to play when we've got a bunch of prizes. But we're almost out today. We only have three left. What prizes do you have left? We have a three day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. And an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party. And of course we have money. 60 pieces of eight for every bet. Wow. That guy's back. Uh, could you explain how this game works? Sure, it's easy. Just tell me what number you want. And I'll spin the wheel. If your number comes up, you win. Sounds simple. What numbers can I bet on? 1 to 30, 2, red or black. I just remember, remembered, I don't gamble. Why not? You could win big. Come back if you change your mind. Excuse me, pal. I want to make another bet. Five black. Five black it is. Five black? All right. You win again. Today is a lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he seems very lucky. Oh, and he's... There he goes. Let's follow him. Give me the next number. First, give me the password. If this is two, what's this? Five. Right. The winning number will be 11 red. Thanks. Hmm. Ugh, and I just remembered this. Okay. So. Yes, apparently uh, they're able to get the numbers, get the numbers before they're actually, uh, the wheels are spun. The whole thing's rigged. Let's just say that. Let's go back to the alley. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Eleven red. All right. You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. I don't get how this whole thing works. Unless it's like a way that they can try and get the money out of the game without like rising suspicion, but it doesn't make sense either. Whatever. Now obviously if we just take a guess, um, we're going to lose. I don't think you can win unless you get told the number. <laughs> yeah, I was always confused with the scanned benefits. I, I have to assume that the uh, that the uh, wheel dealer is in on the whole thing, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, because I mean, it's his wheel, assumably. What? What? Whatever. Now let's go get this out of the way. <clears throat> this puzzle is uh, I've never fully understood it. Oh, knock. What do you want, kid? Um, 
What's the next winning number going to be? Who are you and what are you doing back there? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Have you ever heard of the might legend of the mighty guy brush? Open up, this is a raid. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> Open up, this is a raid. <laughs> Get lost. Yeah. You again? Have you ever heard of the legend of the mighty Guybrush? I like <laughs> closed it before we could finish. Oh well, don't you want to hear it again? <laughs> I like the little animation Skybrush does when he's talking. What is it this time? Uh, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. You're starting to annoy me. Who are you and what are you doing back there? He's apparently huge. I'm Bruno and that's none of your business. Get lost. You wouldn't happen to be a Bigfoot, would you? What? What's the next winning number going to be? First, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is five, what's this? Right, okay, he showed f I, I, it's a stupid password system, it, it really is. I've never I've really figured out how this works, um, it's like substituting one number for another one, as far as I understand. So he showed four fingers before, and I think at the moment he's showing one, I think there's one, like his thumbs out there, or like his pinkies out there, or something like that. So, if it's just moving the numbers ahead one, so what did he say? If four was one, then five is two, then one is three. Three. No. It's four. Watch again. If this is four, what's this? <laughs> I don't know, a million? Okay, so if... That's four. What's this? Uh, five, six, five, one, two, three, three? <laughs> no. It's one. Watch again. Okay. If this is one, what's this? Two. No. <laughs> it's five. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I managed to figure this. What's this? A really rude gesture. <laughs> how do you count? Four. Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is four, what's this? So you'll see that he he showed the first two fingers and then he swapped them around to the horns which is still the same thing so that's four then that's I don't know five no it's two and you have to start over again Well, that was one before. No. It's three. <laughs> As I said, I've... Three. To me, that would be four, because it's like going through them... Like, all five is three, and then you go through to one, and then that's four. <laughs> Maybe he's counting backwards, so two. No. It's five. Ugh. I hate number games. I think I might have just ended up brute forcing it. I think you can end up getting them. Uh, that would be two, wouldn't it? No. <laughs> it's one. 
Is it the fingers which are down? That's one. What's this? But you can't have zero. I'm just going to look this off. <laughs> this makes no sense. I... If I've ever, if I've figured it out, I've always forgotten how it works. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that makes it a lot simpler. Look, I've been generous. Most of the guys in the Gambler's Club get it in three or four tries. Are you a new member? Or just slow? Come back later. Okay. It, it, it does make sense, but not in the ways which I was thinking. What do you want, kid? Uh, what's the next ring number going to be? Having it just spelt out for me is makes it a lot simpler. Okay. This is four. What's this? Okay. So... My assumption was that the number of fingers he's showing is like, you know, lowering or raising fingers advances the number or something. It doesn't. So, it's five. I think it is. Yep. Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is five, what's this? It's three. That's two. One more. If this is three... What's this? That's one. Okay, so spelling it out simply. The answer to the second question is how many fingers he showed the first time. So if he has all five fingers out the first time, it says this is four, and then he has two fingers out the second time, then that's five, because he had all five fingers out. So that's what the thing is. Uh, I don't think I ever caught on to that. I don't know. I have finished this game several times. Anyway. What? You don't remember me? No. But that's okay. You wouldn't have gotten the password right if you weren't a member. Yeah, sure. The winning number will be 15 black. I think I get it. Still mind bending. Eh. Right, um, hold up two fingers and a peace symbol, right? So you've got two fingers, and you say, I don't know, that's one. This number doesn't matter. You could call that whatever, right? So two fingers up, that's one. And then you say, put all, all your fingers out, including your thumb. So that would be two, because the last time you had two fingers out. And that's just it, right? So if you have three fingers out, and then you put one finger out, then the second thing, then the one finger out is three, because you had three fingers out the first time. The first number is irrelevant. It's just whatever the last was. It's whatever number of fingers you had it held out the first time. It doesn't matter what number you're calling, however many fingers you have out, is it's just how many fingers you're holding you're holding out anyway <laughs> where's the thing i had it i just had a uh here we go on the wiki uh the correctly Deliver the password. The giver has to carefully take note of the asker's hands. The asker might show four fingers and say if this is two, then show one finger and say what's this. In this answer, in this example, the answer would be four. The answer was the number of fingers previously shown. Anyway. So. <clears throat> it is confusing, but. Okay. Hello. I think he said 15 black. I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. I think he said they had three prizes left. 
Oh yeah, here. Okay, kid. Which number do you want? Uh, 15 black. Okay, here we go. I also don't see why you'd have a gambler's club where the whole point of get the gambling is that you win all the time because you're cheating. It seems to defeat the purpose. <laughs> 15 black. You're a winner, kid. What of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight. Or you can have the invitational invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party. Or you can have a three day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. Well, which will it be? I think you can get all three prizes if you can be bothered going back and forth. And the money doesn't really mean anything. We have enough. Uh, the vacation doesn't mean anything because we never go there. So the invitation is the only one which is of any value to us. I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations. Thanks. It seems like we should be seeing a bunch of people losing. So those in the club that get that money, but we just see the winning. So it's confusing. Yeah, I can imagine that rather than having a horde of people. I mean, these places are very unpopulated. So now we've got the uh, invitation. You are cordially invited to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras blowout. Don't forget to bring this invitation when you pick up your complimentary costume. Cool. Please present invitation at door and wear your costume. Hmm. Well, we can cheat again. We can cheat again and uh, get the money, I suppose. What's the next winning number going to be? There is a little bit more for this, but... Okay, first give me the password. So he's holding out two fingers. So the answer for that is two. Because he held out two fingers the first time. Right. The winning number will be six black. <clears throat> I mean, maybe all these people are just really bored and they came up with this to keep themselves entertained because there's nothing else to do on the island. <laughs> uh, I'd like to place another bet. Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid. Which number you want? Uh, four red. I think it's always the first one. I actually forgot what the number was. Six black. Oh. <laughs> Even when cheating, I lose. <laughs> Maybe you just weren't betting on the right number. Know what I mean? S thanks anyway. So you actually know that I'm cheating? I hate losing. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, if you get the other two prizes, he ends up descending into the ground in a on a small lift and just disappearing because there's nothing else to do. So, here's a fisherman. Look at fisherman. Looks only slightly better than he smells. We get this nice close up of Guybrush as well. Caught anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Throughput, a mighty fisherman. I'm a game warden, I'll have to confiscate your pole. <laughs> well, I've got to go. Goodbye. I'm a game warden, now I'll have to confiscate your pole. You're a game warden, eh? Let's see a badge or something. I must have left my badge in my other pants. I don't have to sto sh show you any stinking badge. Actually, I'm Guybrush Throughput, a mighty fisherman. Look behind you, a three-ended fish. <laughs> I think I'd better be going. I don't have to show you any stinking badge. I think you're just trying to get your hands on my pole. Do you fish? Mm, of course. Why else would I want your pole? <laughs> I'm the best fisherman in these isles. No, actually, I've never been fishing in my life. <laughs> of course. Why else would I want your pole? Well, I was just thinking about a small wager. Are you a betting man? Sure, I'll take a bet. No, I'm not a gambler, but we can't really say that anymore. What sort of wager were you thinking of? If I you catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning pole. 
Sounds fair. What's the catch? Kiss your paw goodbye. But I don't even have a hook. What's the catch? If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. Raw? Raw? You mean on rice with a little wasabi and soy sauce? Ick. <laughs> Where'd you get that other pipe? <laughs> Where'd you get that? <laughs> I like that. I have to wonder whether that's just an animation error and they decided to put it in as a joke. <laughs> Where'd you get that other pipe? <laughs> <Ahem>. What? <laughs> Look, like I said, you have to eat the raw fish. Plain cold and with the head still on it. What do you say? How barbaric. <laughs> Alright, it's a bet. It's a revolting idea. I can't think of anything I'd less rather do. I need more time to think about it. Well, alright, it's a bet. <laughs> Great. I'm really looking forward to making you eat my catch. With all the sewerage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine, just sell them to restaurants. Best good best get fishing, buddy. Hehehe. <laughs> Can't we just like push him into the water? I doubt he'd appreciate that. Well, you know. Nice pole. Thanks. Can I pick it up? Hey, don't touch that. It's precisely balanced for maximum hydrophonic fibrillation. Uh, can we give you a banana to the ball? Can't you see I'm busy? Real busy. Use knife with fishman. A scoutmaster. Oh, fine. Uh, what's up here? Um, well, that's the uh, village. And there's a waterfall there. There's a mansion. And there's a cottage over there. However, it's on an island. I don't think we can get there. Nope. I can't reach it. You can't swim. There's a waterfall here. How lovely. And kind of noisy. Um, what? What's this doing in a pirate game? We're looking behind the scenes here, folks. <laughs> I can't pick that up. Uh, can we use it? Oh, can we close it? That doesn't seem to work. What if we push it? I can't move it. Use shovel on pump. I can't dig that, daddy. <laughs> use the knife with the pump? Nope. Uh, well, we don't have anything to use on the pump. Let's leave. Nice little scene. I like how the water moves. Okay, it's very noisy though. Let's go down to the mansion. Hmm. Look at sign. It says trespassers not delivering foodstuffs will be pers persecuted. Well, we have a banana. And some wood polish? And an empty bag of uh, parrot chow, so... Open gate. What's the gate say? Ice gate. Mm, go up here. That's a rather large mansion. Oh. Uh, don't, don't mind me. You didn't see anything. Look at guard. Nice guard. <laughs> Can we push him? I can't move it. Uh, look at the stairs. Nope. Look at couch. Nice couch. Can we use the couch? Nope. Can we pick it up? Can we push it? Fine. It's just a couch. Talk to guard. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in jail? I got time off for good behavior. You must be confusing me with my cousin Guybrush. Governor Fat had me set free. Yeah, but I broke out. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you say if you say that to him. Let's see. Yes, but I broke out. Ha ha. That's a good one. Well, Walt would have chewed you to bits. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You have a lot of faith in that dog. Uh, can I go upstairs? I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Look behind you—a three-headed monkey. I'd love to stay a chat, but I'm due at the manicurist's. 
Uh. Can I go upstairs? I'm sorry, but the governor doesn't want to be disturbed while he's eating. When will the governor be finished eating? Ha ha ha. Uh. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey! Really? I'd better fetch the cook. Well, that was easy. I suppose you get, like, three times the brains out of it. Uh... Well, he has finished eating. He's sleeping. Like a big baby. I don't think this has been washed in about 10 years. I've got a bed table. I can't pick that up. You mean the bed table has to be washed? Okay. Can we close the door? Oh, you can. Always a nice detail. Look at bed. There are crumbs and condiments all over it. Uh, look at wash basin. There's food or something stuck in the drain. Pick up wash basin. I can't pick that up. There's a big hose attached to it. Look at alarm. It seems to go off before stuff comes out of the tube. You'd feel he'd get sick of eating, like, liquids all the time. Well, yeah, whatever. Look at Governor Fat. Sleeping like a baby. A baby elephant. Can we push him? I don't think I can move him. Can we pick him up? Oh. Can we talk to him? I don't think I'd better wake him up. Hmm. Look at famous pirate quotations. The cover says, famous pirate quotations. Can we get the book? The world is my chocolate easter egg. I think I almost woke him up. Why, that's the second biggest cake, pound cake I've ever seen. What else does he say? More sauce on the goose, please. And the winner of the weenie eating contest is... Governor Fat. Careful with those pin... Pit pitons or we'll fall into the jello. What? Cranberries? Yes, I love cranberries. Ah, sugar plum. Show me again how to hypnotize a rhino with an all day sucker. What? Careful with those pitons. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, we can't get the book. Uh, mm hmm. That bed is under tremendous stresses. <laughs> okay, well, we can't really do anything there. If he's going to wake up when we take the book, we might have to exchange it for something. Uh, what else? No, that's all that's here. So... Let's go back to the library and get a book. Okay, look at the card catalogue. Mathematics, cubic... Lemniscate formulas. Maze construction. See annotation. <laughs> music. Elvis lives. Predictions of future of future music by Not True Damus. Fountains. The majesty of the Sierras. Money. Making easy money at home. Make easy money at home. Music. Volume first. World's worst pirate songs. Xylophone for beginners. How much wood from the woodchuck mystery series? <laughs> Grammy Award winners of the Renaissance. Manatee, the sailor and the ca sea cow. Military, uh, the stealth sailor, why it won't sail. Lunch, afternoon at meat hooks. Sure. Here we just have to get a book. I don't think it matters which book we get. Pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? Well, you know. I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? 
Mm, do you have afternoon at meat hooks? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Uh, I won't be needing any more books just now. Please put the lens back in the lighthouse. Oh, you saw that I took that. I feel guilty now. Afternoon at Meat Hooks. Afternoon at Meat Hooks. Fascinating. Okay, well, let's leave again. <clears throat> oh, also, if you go left past the jail, it's just back to the uh, this screen. You can exit the town from either side. Let's go back in here. And... The guard's still apparently trying to wrangle the uh, chef into cook catching the three-headed monkey. Okay, let's use this book with the famous pirate quotations. Just tear out a few pages. Hey! We got famous pirate quotations. Let's leave. And let's have a look at this. Famous pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Commander Buttonhead. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Vestilege. Arg. Barney Grout. Gout. Violets are blue, roses are red. We're coming aboard, prepare to eat lead. Rapscallion. Mouthwash? We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Old Skunk Eye. Well, there was a quotation from Rapscallion in there. That might prove useful at some point in the future. He says knowingly. <laughs> okay, I think we've done about all that we can here for the moment. Let us go back onto the dread onto dredge ship. Don't know why he has to go around the mountain. <laughs> he has to go that way. Whatever. Where do we want to go? Ah, let's go to Booty Island. You can't go to either place first. It doesn't matter. Though obviously there's puzzles which involve going from one going in between the islands. So you can't do everything the first time you visit. A very roundabout way again. Mm. Sounds festive. Sign says the booty boutique. Okay. Mementos, souvenirs, artifacts. Mm, let's have a look. What a lot of junk. Oh, it's a parrot. Can we close the door? We can. There's a well-polished old sore. Found that beauty at the bottom of the sea. He cleaned up real nicely, though. Uh, there's a mask. Looks like Spiffy the Pinhead. Okay. Indy's whip. That's the real thing. As seen in Raiders, Temple, Holy Grail, and The Young Chronicles. Lucas Hearts <laughs> spruiking their other things. It's all now Disney, isn't it? Um, I think it is. Anyway, the gross skulls. Those are authentic scale re reproductions of rotting skulls rendered in sun bleached whalebone. There are even some loose skin hang to hang them up from. How nifty. Left turn sign. That's the sign I took from the famous Precipice View Road. I've never heard of it. They call it Dead Man's Drop now. I suppose that just increased it in, increased its value? Pirate hats. You look good in one of those. And they're great for parties. There's an anchor. It's ergonomically formulated to enhance stopping power. Vase? Vase? It's a beautiful, elegant, antique porcelain vase. 
don't know why I said vase. Digi lights. Oh, the, ah, the famous ceremonial lights from the Pirates of the South Pacific. Those aren't for sale. Oh, okay. Boss Swain's wheel? I got that as a gift from a man I saved a few years ago. Don't have much use for a wheel, but he said one good turn deserves another. Ha ha ha. There's a treasure, che treasure chest. It said that the infamous Greenbeard won that barrel from Long John Cooper in a poker game. Shame that's empty. There's a horn. That's a real ship's horn, just like they, not just like the ones used in modern ships. There's a barrel. It's empty. What about the parrot? Isn't he a beautiful parrot? He's preoccupied. He's preoccupied with his reflection. Beautiful. Look at the mirror. Mr. Polly likes that mirror. Yeah, he seems to be in love with his reflection. Some cannonballs. Check out those. Check out these balls. They're made of a fine iron cast. There's a lot of eye patches. I have an eye patch in every shape. Uh, feather pen. I made that myself from my last parrot. Not too noisy for me. Okay. There's some cannons. That's a Mark uh, 7 Devastator. Triple cannon emplacement. If only they thought to leave a hole for the fuse. I was told these are used as a form of barter in the inner cities. Hubcaps. <laughs> Rock and roll collector's a plate. That collectible plate's worth a mint. Wow, I knew these would be valuable one day. Uh, this is a whale painting. That's the legendary white whale. Never been caught, except on canvas. Does it have a name? Dunno. Maybe, maybe not. Nothing says a whale must have a name. Okay. There's a small picture there. It's a picture of a pirate with pig legs. Oh, thank you for telling me. What about this tree cheese grater? I'm not exactly sure what this is. Okay. Anything else around here? There's a sign. It says, Beware of Parrot. Is it from Meat Hooks? There's a wreath up there. That's a great gift for the holidays. Okay. Let's have a look at you. He looks like he's really into this stuff. M nice shop you've got here. Thanks, I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. Well, and I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume. I have to go now. Oh, okay, if we don't get a list of things to buy? Hmm, anyway. Look at the map piece. That's part of the big whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot of a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. Okay, well, that's obviously one of the map pieces which we need. Now can we pick up the cheese grater? I'd like to buy this. Thing. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. Okay. Um, what about the picture? I'd like to buy the small picture frame. I only have one of those. Do I need to keep it as a display model? Okay. What about the vase? I'd like to buy this vase. Yeah, I'd like that too. But it's not for sale. I'm beginning to see a pattern here. What about the anchor? I'd like to buy this anchor. That's one of my favorite things in the store. Oh, right. But I don't have enough back stock to sell it. <laughs> uh... I think you can buy a few things. I think you can buy one of these plates. I'd like to buy this rock and roll collector's plate. Excellent choice. That'll be 199 pieces of eight. Yeah, on second thoughts, I'd better save my money. There are multiple things in this store which you can buy. As I said, you can buy these plates. You can buy a hubcap. I don't think you can buy any of the cannonballs. Maybe you can buy a hat? 
I'd like to buy these pirate hats. The whole lot. And I'd like to sell you one of them. They have 30 pieces of 8 each, so you can get one of the hats. Um... I don't think you could... Can you buy the skulls? I'd like to buy these gross skulls. I just keep those here because they're cool. They're not for sale. Can we buy the uh, left turn sign? One of my favourite things in the store. So he's overly attached to everything else. Ugh. Um, so there are a number of things which you can buy, as I said. It was handmade by a good friend of mine from another island. Um, you know, the plate, the hubcap, one of the hats, apparently. But they're useless. Uh, there are a few things which you can buy. The ship's horn? I'd like to buy the ship's horn. Okie dokie. That would be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. I'm gonna use four knowledge here. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, also, let's buy this saw. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Excellent choice. That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. I don't think you can run out of money. Ever. Like... <sighs> um... We have 334 pieces of eight. I believe the 420 pieces of eight you get from the job at the beginning of the game is enough, even if you buy all the extra stuff. I... You could get 60 extra pieces of eight from doing the gambling game and winning. And getting the choosing the money from that. I'm but I'm pretty sure, as it was part of LucasArts uh, game philosophy at the time, that you can't get yourself into an unwinnable situation. Can we get the feather pin? I'd like to buy this feather pin. Okie dokie. Oh you can buy that. Ten pieces of eight. Will you give me one from Overstock? Whatever. Your loss. And we don't need it. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's, I mean, that is what we want. That'll be 600,000 pieces of eight. Do you want it? Wow, that's... I can't afford that much. Too bad. Eesh. Really, like... I suppose they had to choose a high enough number to make people realise that, you know, you're not going to be getting enough money for this. What about this whip? That could be useful. I'd like to buy this Indies whip. TM. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. Okay, fine. What about the sign? I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. I really have my heart set on it. Thank you. Yeah, can we buy the uh, antique steel? I don't think he'd like that. <laughs> can we just give him money? Use... Give... Money to antique steel. Call me stingy, but I'm not giving away my money. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh... Hello, parrot. There's a hook here. Look at hook. That's an authentic pirate's fish hook. Found it inside a crocodile who was too pest petered out to move. <laughs> Haha. Uh -huh. Got the hook. It's firmly attached to the wall. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, okay. Let's uh, use this parrot chow with the hook. Hey, he seems to like that. Hook, oh, Peter. Thanks for giving that to me. I think the parrot likes it. He likes it more than a mirror. Let's buy the mirror. I'd like to buy this mirror. And I'd like to sell it to you. That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, you can't buy it beforehand because he says, you know, oh, the parrot really likes the mirror, so I'm not selling it. But look at the mirror. I feel pretty. Look at the sign. Beware of parrot. And we've got a well-polished saw. Maybe odd, but still shiny and sharp. Can we polish it? We do have wood polish. <laughs> I don't want to polish that. Did I click on the right thing? 
No, I suppose it's already polished. I don't think I could should I don't think I should cut that. Fine, okay. Well, let's leave. And there's an old man here. Hello there. Sorry, son, didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh why hello there, Threepwood. You're in town for Mardi Gras. No, I'm on a treasure hunt. Is this the right time of year for Mardi Gras? That's what I'm that's where I'm going right now. Bye. Yeah. No, I'm on a treasure hunt. What? They're doing a treasure hunt again this year? I can't believe they'd try that again after all the mishaps last time. Dang, there goes all my fun. I mean, a real treasure hunt. You know, for money. What kind of mishaps? What kind of mishaps? Well, some people got carried away. Some graves got dug up. Horrible business. Well, enjoy Grady Mardi Gras. Grady Mardi Gras. Hello again. Yeah, what was that? Yep. Yeah. Uh, how about blowing off the cannon? Hey, old man, how about blowing off the cannon? How about just blowing it off? My name's Augustus de what? Not old man. And this cannon is for official purposes only. Do it. Maybe do it. Anyway. Look at old man. Oh, Augustus do it. Gee, I wonder if he's loaded. <laughs> what about the cannon? Gee, I wonder if it's loaded. <laughs> Can we use the cannon? Hey, don't touch that. We only set that off when the mail boat comes in. Okay. Hello again. You talking to me, boy? Uh, I suppose. You don't have a brother named Marty, do you? Boy, the only Marty I know is Marty Graw. Who? Marty Graw. It's a joke, boy. A joke. You are here for Marty Graw, aren't you? <laughs> is this the right time of year for Marty Graw? Son, it's always Marty Graw on Booty Island. I used to be the governor of this island. But I never had any time to come down here and enjoy the party. So I quit, and now I watch out for the mailboat. Which reminds me, I have to get back to work. Okay, fine. Hmm. Woman in big hat, glass bottom boots, three hour tours. Three hour tours. See the world. Hi, my name's Guybrush. Am I actually talking to her? <laughs> Can I have one of those leaflets? I'm searching for the treasure of Big Wolf. Hi, my name's Guybrush. You could actually, like, turn to talk to her. I'm Captain Kate Catsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Uh, could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. Rude. I think the animation... <laughs> the animation's broke. Oh well. Uh, I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah. When I was first made on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. Captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the sea of beige flotsam. Hope your luck is better. <laughs> beige flotsam. Uh, could I have one of those leaflets? Hey, these things cost money. I suppose. <laughs> we could charter a ship, but we don't have anywhere to go, so I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Look at Kate, Captain Kate. What are you looking at? Yeah, okay. Uh, if you remember, way back when we were in the uh, tavern bar in Woodtick, the barkeep mentioned that we could have been given some near grog, which was non-alcoholic grog, uh, with all the taste of grog, but none of the alcohol. Uh, but then he said that he he didn't actually have any. It was the last of it was bought by someone called Cape Ka Kate Capsize. So, I assume that is her. Look at Leaflet. 
capsized charters, glass bottom boats for sightseeing or special interest voyages. There's a picture of her on it. <laughs> and here's a costume shop. Can we close the door? No, oh, you can't close the door. Okay. Mighty Moose. Neat. Bowling Boy. This is really nice. Joanne Lizard. I wonder if I can rent this one. Leggy Duck. Really nice. Wonky Elephant. Caroline Crocodile. Rickety Rabbit. Melee Monkey. Sailor Pat. That looks like Popeye. I had the one just like that when I was a kid. Sailor Pat. Neat. I think this one's my favourite. Rhinoceros Ted. This is really nice. Ugly green head. I don't know what it is, but it sure is ugly. Bonnie bird, sumi frog, barbecue fish, Bree dog, caveman Fred, cosmic clown. Neat. And uh, we can't go any further. Where's that shopkeep? There he is. Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone or on reserve. Sorry. We'll actually walk to where he is now. I'd really like to rent a costume, but you have tons of costumes. Why are your costumes so popular? Oh, we're actually following around the store. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a five island radius. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's mansion. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. I'd really, really like to rent a costume. Look, if you don't have a reservation, you don't have a costume. I need to rent a costume. <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy? Uh, I have to wear the costume. I don't think we're going to go anywhere with that. You look busy. I'll come back later. Uh, well, actually, we do have a costume in reserve. So give invitation to the shopkeeper. Ah, you have a costume on reserve. Well, that's a different story. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. There's a giant Max there. <laughs> and Sam. Sam and Max. That reminds me. I want to buy the latest comic book from Steve by Steve Purcell. I would, I would like to buy, uh, like to have a copy of his uh, comics, but that's neither here nor now. Uh, I think they were fans of his comic book. What a beautiful dress! And yeah, let's pick it up. Yoink. Can we use it? I don't want to wear this right now. Okay, can we pick them up? I should check with the shopkeeper first. Yeah. Okay, well, there's another room full of things to look at, but very little to actually do. So let's leave. Uh oh, I see a Stan. Stan's previously owned coffers. He's here. This has always... bugged me. <laughs> it's just the text used for, like, when people are speaking, but it says a flashing sign. Maybe they thought about having it later. Anyway. Let's go in. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck. Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Well, I hope not. Most of it's used only for a few hours. Um, premature burial, you know, that sort of thing. So they have been touched by living people? 
Well, speak up, or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Actually, I just like to browse. Didn't you used to be a sh used ship salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. Do you do funerals? Of course we do funerals! And not just those somber all black three handkerchief affairs. We do it in a rowdy Mardi Gras style with music and dancing and pole bearers races. I'd like to say we put the fun in funerals. Yeah. Real original. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. <laughs> Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is a Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Yeah, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Can I show you anything else? Well, we had a moment to do something there, but... How much is that coffin? Well, it's complicated. Pricing here at Stands works on a sliding scale. Based on one's ability to pay so as to make a decent funeral affordable to even our poorest customers. That's very considerate of you. So, how much dough do you have on you? I have 314 pieces of eight. I see. I think cremation might be more appropriate in this instance. I found you can buy caskets on Amazon. The weirdest part is reviews. Oh, good lord. I <laughs> Um. That's weird in itself. I'd have to wonder what kind of, like, screening process they have for something like that. <laughs> anyway. Um. If they even have one. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, the reviews would be weird. Bought this. <laughs> Too small. Maybe people would buy them in like anticipation. Maybe. I thought funeral parlors dealt with all that. Anyway, um. So, well, there's not really much we can do here. I gotta go. See you later. It does have a key on the tombstone back there. Here, take this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying I care. Yeah. Let's close the door. Ooh. Pirates Spit Contest. Pirates Spit Contest. No extra details on it. Spit fun! Spit fun! Step up to the line and test your swill. Valuable prizes. Even a child can do it. In fact, they do it very well. Come on, it's all paid for by Booty Isle Parks and Rec. Just put your lips together and blow. Are you pirates or not? Two, four, six, eight. Come on, let's expectorate. Everybody is always already has the necessary equipment. Turn a disgusting habit into a prestige winning skill. Don't let this grass wither up and die. What was that? Did I hear somebody swallow? <laughs> what a waste. Thousands will spit, hundreds will win. No volunteers? If Blackbeard was here, he'd shoot you all right now. Don't be shy. Let it fly. I know you want to volunteer. It's on the tip of your tongue. It just keeps going. You think spitting is gross? I'll tell you what's gross. Swallowing that stuff is gross. Prove to me that you guys are less, at least as fun as a pack of llamas. I hear there are some scouts here from the pro spitting circuit. This may be your last chance that popularity is success. Okay. 
came dented, couldn't send back in time for funeral. And it just leaves you wondering, well then, what did they do? <laughs> oh. I feel for people who get something like that, which isn't a quality product, but yeah. Wait, hang on. Wait. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I suppose you wouldn't always use the coffin? Like, uh, whatever. Nah, uh, look at the fault line. I'll give it a try. A volunteer! Alright, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. You know it. What's your name, boy? Uh, Juicius Maximus III. Well, they call me the Phlegm Master. I am, of course, Captain Lugie. Whoops, thought this was Croquet. Bye. Cro croaky. Uh, they call me the Phlegm Master. I am, of course, Captain Lugie. The Lugster. Lugarama. Fucking the big ones for fame and fortune. Spit away. Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> the misfire, misfire! Everybody run! Gee, that's too bad, Captain. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. Yeah, I did more than you lot. At least he tried. Look at the crowd. Ah, all the ah, the whole world loves a spitting contest. Can we talk to them? Ahem. Captain Lugie is on the house. In the house. Spit away. Oh, okay. We can't actually talk to them. Hey, he's been working out. Looks like third place. I think that deserves a little applause. Too bad there were only prizes for first place. Better luck next time. That was actually pretty good. Now how about the rest of you? Uh, there is tricks to this, of course. If you notice, out of all this crowd, this uh, woman here, she has a scarf on her belt, and every now and then it flaps. So you have to spit when it's flapping, because that's when the wind's blowing. So, but obviously that, uh, apparently that's not actually enough. Villa de la Booty. Uh, so we'll have to think of some other things to do. Uh, there's a cliff here. What's this? It's just a big cliff. That's a long way down. I don't think there's anything we can do here. Surely something won't happen later. There's a big tree. Oh, you remember the sounds for the spitting contest in the remake being tough to listen to? Ugh. They're not, they're not that bad in the original. It's just like compressed sounds, but ugh. if they made that like high definition, yeah. There's an outhouse here. You've got a moon on the door. How rustic. Open it up. What's inside? Is there anything in there? Can we use the outhouse? No, thanks. Only shiny pages left in the catalogue. Oh. That that would be a bit difficult. There's a mirror on the wall there, but I think that serves absolutely no purpose at all. There's a plank here. Looks like a plank stuck in a hole in a tree. Uh, can we pick it up? Oh, we can. One end looks carved, so it will fit into holes. Well, let's just stick it back in there. I think we need to carry it around with us. Look at hole. Big woodpeckers. Oh, we can step on the plank. But there's no, uh... There's no more planks, so we can't actually get up. I have to wonder whether that would work if you had a big enough tree. Anyway. What's here? Uh oh. Uh, the ghost pirate Machuck! 
Get a grip. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? Uh, I'm here for the governor's party. Nice costume, almost scare me to death. What are you guarding here? Gotta go, keep up the good work. Nice costume, almost scared me to death. Thanks. What is your costume for the governor's party? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marty's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only, and costumes are required. I've got my invitation right here. Well, what do you know? You do have an invitation. Do you have a costume? Yeah, I've been or I've been doing things in preparation. Without even really, really realizing it, it's just automatic. I have my costume right here. Better put it on. Well, if you insist. But you'll have to try to restrain yourself. No, no, not here! Go into bushes or something. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that is nice. And the boots are a nice touch. Okay, I can guess you can go through. Have fun! Mm, go through here, and... Ooh, here's the mansion. Look at mansion. We can't really look at a the mansion. There's a gardener. Leave me alone. I'm busy. And there's a dog. Oh, what a cute little thing. Can we pet the dog? Oh. Can we talk to the dog? Oh. Push dog. Now, why would I want to pick on such a cute little puppy? With a big wiggly nose. We can go around the back of the house. Mmm. There's a big rubbish bin here. It's a beat up metal trash can. A sign. It says, Dear Booty Island Waste Disposal Service. Shh. Please don't bang garbage cans. Governor sleeping upstairs. Okay. Uh, can we open the door? What's in here? Oh, there's a kitchen! And there's a chef. Hey, kitchen staff only! Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, there's a bunch of fish there. Look at fish. I said kitchen staff only! Sorry! Hmm. Maybe we should just go and grab it. Oh, no. Can we actually grab it? I said kitchen staff only. No, okay, we can't. He's really attentive. And I don't think we can talk to him. So, let's just leave. Mm, there's nothing else there. Let's go inside the house. Or mansion. Mm, party's going on. The party guests. I got a nice costume. Not gonna say anything? No kidding. I forgot to put air holes in mine. How are you drinking? So, where are all the chicks? Yeah, I thought there'd be some here. Then again, in these costumes, who can tell? That's true. There might be some babes here. But what can we do about it? Well, we just ask. Ask? What are you, nuts? Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, Mighty Gras sure as tough as us swingers. I'll drink to that. I think we could just stand next to people and they'll start. And we'll, we'll overhear them. Yep. To Elaine Marley! To Elaine! To this great party! 
To the party! Nice costume. Nice costume. To Salmon Pate. Pate! Look at bones. Looks like I'm too late for the hors d'oeuvres. Uh, can we pick up the bones? Too late. They're already picked clean. Well, what's the what's the chef doing there? I suppose maybe they've been between or in between rounds or whatever. What do you got to say? Nice mask. Thanks. More subtle than most. Yes, thanks. Not your usual, uh, usual larger than life, Mardi Gras head. Nope. Portable saved a lot of material, sir. I'm sure I don't know. Not that paper mache is very expensive. Do you mean papier mache? Yeah, whatever. No, I don't imagine that it's very expensive at all. <laughs> Still, you must save. Saved a bundle. I never scrimp when it comes to the holidays. Well, I didn't mean you were cheap. Parties and balls are my life. I just meant... Making gay is the only purpose I can find in wretched world to do life. My wretched world to do life. I'm sure it must be hard. But you say my costume looks cheap. No, no, it looks great. That's not what you said before. I said I just... it looked subtle. Can't we just drop the subject? Yeah, okay, fine. Now I think they just loop. No. Why do we put up with this stuff? I don't know. I guess to prove we're fun-loving guys. You check out the spinning contest? Yeah, I got second place. Not bad! Yeah, well, you know. The wind was with me. Try the fish? Yeah, almost choked on a bone. Hear the one about the polar bear with the hair lip? <laughs> yeah, last week. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. How's work? Same old, same old. Like the music? It's alright. Where'd you get the costume? Ah, I wore it last year. Can I get you a refill? Nah, yeah, I'm fine. Pretty good turnout. Yep. Heard any new jokes? Okay, fine. Whatever. There's a piece of a map here. It looks like part of the map to Big Whoop. Can we just take it? Cheap sexual innuendo. Alright, I got the map piece. First map piece. Mindless retort. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. How's work? Same old, same old. Somebody, oh, I see. They end up saying all the same things. Let's have fun for the Jolly Roger. So it's all just like blah, 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 blah. The party guests. They seem to be enjoying the party. Can we... Okay, party's over. Time to go home. Can we push them out of the way? I'm not dressed for wrestling. Well. Open the door. Can we just leave? What's the matter, boy? Smell something? Oh, nice doggy. I don't like the look of that gardener. He's got no eyes. What's the matter there, Guybrush? Nothing a big old hug would cure. Lechuk's alive and I'm on the lam. This crazy mutt's trying to kill me. How did you know my name? Nothing a big hug wouldn't cure. I was talking to the dog. Who are you? She named her dog Guybrush? Mr. Threepwood, take me to the governor right away. I'm Governor Marley's ex-boyfriend. She's expecting me. I'm f selling these fine pink dresses. <laughs> no thanks, it's not on my color wheel. But let's just see what you have in your pockets. This thing doesn't have pockets. Try and catch me, old man. Oof. Oh, look out for that rake! Just something about the gardener's model is disturbing. Oh, also, I have done that to myself once, years ago. <laughs> Funnily enough, to see whether it actually happened. Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? Bring him in. 
You need to hear a guy brush. I didn't lose any teeth though. Guy brush. Guy brush three pod. The one and only sugar bear. Of all the parties and all the houses on all the islands in the Caribbean, he had to crash mine. It's destiny, honeycakes. Don't talk to me. Snugglebus. Get lost. Punky Doodle. I'm warning you. Poopa Doopa. <laughs> Maybe I should go rank the back 40. Look at us together again. Boy, we haven't been like this since. Well, since I quit my job and moved away without leaving a forwarding address. Well, is that what happened? Gee, I thought. Guybrush, can't you take a hint? We were a mistake. I thought we had an agreement. There's some buddy downstairs. I'd jump out of that window to prove my love. Still ignoring fashion, eh? Good for you. Fine, be that way. There are other fish in the sea. <laughs> That's some buddy downstairs. Same old Guybrush. I got a feeling someone needs a big sloppy kiss. I like what you've done with your hair. Elaine, take me back. I can't live without you. Uh, I like what you've done with your hair. Can't you take a hint? I realize now what a fool I've been. Is it my imagination or have you gained weight? Maybe we should talk about this. Maybe we should talk about this. Sorry, three. I don't play those games anymore. I realize now what a fool I've been. <laughs> Real scorcher outside, eh? You know, I kind of like your old house better. <laughs> Fine, be that way. There are other fish in the sea. You know, I kind of like your old house better. So much for a pleasant attitude. Still ignore <laughs> My soul is sick, Elaine, and love is the only cure. Let Chuck's alive, and I need your help to fight him. Uh huh. Oh, you don't... You don't... You don't believe me? Can't you see how my heart has suffered? Do you have my red sweater? I can't find it anywhere. How's your sister? The really good looking one. Do you have my red sweater? I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, right. Now, obviously, this isn't really doing anything. So, so tell me, you and the gardener, eh? Plane, save me from this whirlpool of misery. Oh, really? Come on, let's buy you grog. May lightning strike me if I bear false intentions. Fine, be that way. There are other fish in the sea. Yeah, but even fish have standards. Oh, that just ends it. Okay, well, let's go back. Maybe I wasn't clear enough the last time. Please, baby, please, baby, please, baby, baby, please. <laughs> You know, I do have other work to do. I stopped that doing that knuckle cracking thing. Won't you at least give me a second chance? You're getting warmer. If I can't be with you, I don't want to live. Well, that's not the most stupid thing you've ever said. I'll win you back if it's the last thing I do. You're the governor of my heart, baby. Oh, Guybrush. I knew I shouldn't have had anything to do with you. But there's something about your weakness and ineptitude that I find infectious. Does that mean you're going to let me have the map? The map? Is that what this is all about? I should have known better. If the map's all you care about. Oh yeah. You'd better go out and get it. Well. Go back. Choice like that, you don't go... Uh, she's gone. I guess I really made her mad this time. You shouldn't have left. Anyway. Whatever. Man, she has shoulder pads and everything. This game wasn't made in the 80s. Look at changing screen. Nothing back here. Can we use it? I'd like to, but I'd better stay in costume. Look at a mirror. Hey, it's Zonka Harris in a dress. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Look at Org. Central Caribbean School for Governors. Crew 67. Look at Devon. 
comfy, comfy. Can we pick it up? Oh, let's pick this ore up. Yoink. Well, maybe she won't miss this old thing. There's a bust here. You know, I heard some guys talking about Marty's bust. This must be it. Can't see what all the fuss was about, though. I don't want to break anything. Elaine will kill me. What about this chest over here? It's impolite to stare at a woman's chest. Yeah, aha. Uh -huh. It's just a porcelain replica of a chest. Chest. I hate that knick-knacky junk. Also, you're deathly afraid of porcelain. The last time I stole something from Governor Marley, I almost ended up as fish food. Yeah. There's a window. I can see the map fluttering around in the front yard. I better close the window. Don't want, like, bugs and such flying in. Okay, let's leave. Oh, can we look at that painting? Nope. How about that? Nope, that's nothing. Oh, there's a map. <clears throat> huh. Bark as loud as you want. Filbert's out raking the back 40. Wait, when did we learn these names, Filbert? Whatever. Might be a reference. Oh, what a cute little thing. Uh, yeah. I'd like to, but this dress just doesn't have the pockets for it. Hey! Oh, you're running after the thing. Eh. Come back! Up uh, and if it wasn't, um, if, if I hadn't specifically stated it, we knew, well, the map was in Elaine Marley's place because apparently one of her ancestors was actually on the crew which went to find Big Whoop. As it mentioned, there was a Captain Marley. So apparently it was a relation. Let's go after it. Maybe while I'm in the woods, I'll ditch this stupid costume. That's not stupid. Anyway, let's go to the cliff. Hmm, there's a map. Boy, oh, it's a long way down there. Can we pick it up? I can't pick that up. Oh. You don't know unless you try. Okay, well we're gonna have to find a way to get that. Hmm. Uh, oh yes, something which we need to do over here. We can't go to the little hut there anymore. We just bypass it. Okay, let's go back around the back of the mansion. We actually, actually have to walk to the mansion and then go to the side. And... Let's be naughty. Crash! Hey, what's all that racket? Uh oh. Don't mess with the governor's cans! Aha. Uh -huh. Who do you think you are? Hey, come back here! I'm not done yet! Uh. Run, Guybrush. You better just get out of here. Oh, Mad Chef, Mad Chef. Go in. Quick, pick up a fish. Aha, and there's nothing else to pick up here. It's a whole mess of fish. Can we pick up another one? I don't think I need any more. Okay. Oh, there you are. Yeah, no good punk. If it's not raccoons, it's teenage vandals. Have raccoons in the Caribbean? Okay, let's just leave. Uh, okay. Oh, we can exit into the woods over here. Right. Well, we have a fish. So let's go on Dred's ship back to Fat Island. Where do you want to go? Uh. Back to Fat Island. And it does it quickly.
and we'll see this <clears throat> fisherman here. Give fish to fisherman. Actually, let's have a look at it. It sure is big. Wow. This is the biggest. Um, it's almost as big as the Leviathan I just hauled in. Really? Where is this Leviathan? Um, I think you're lying. Yeah, you're right. It was just a fish story. I guess you win. Here, take the pole. I kind of feel bad for him, but whatever. It is a nice pole. Can we use it? Use fishing pole. I don't think that would be very sporting. Eh? Oh, fine, whatever. Let's go back to Dreadship. You want to go? Uh, I want to go back to Booty Island. And... Let's go to that cliff. Use the fishing pole with the map. It's very precise. What? Hey! Stupid bird! I don't know why a seagull would want it. Ugh, dang. Okay. Let's go to the big tree then. Have to chase this thing all over the place. Hmm, okay, well. We can walk. Can we walk? Use the plank. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we can put this ore in the other hole. There we go. And step up. Oh, crack. Oops. Um. Ouch! That really hurts! Wait a minute. Something very strange is going on here. Do not attempt to adjust your set. Dad! Mom! What are you two doing here? We came looking for you. Where have you been? You came looking for me? But I thought you abandoned me. Why would we do that? We are such loving parents. Yes, we are. So what do you two want? We have some information for you, son. Really? Great! What is it? Well, we're going to give it to you in the form of a song. Oh, okay. The rib bone's connected to the arm bone. The arm bone's connected to the head bone. The head bone's connected to the leg bone. You need to do. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I like Guybrush's expression. Leg bones connected to the hip bone. The hip bones connected to the arm bone. The arm bones connected to the rib bone. Do 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 do. <laughs> wow, they're good. The rib bones connected to the leg bone. The leg bones connected to the hip bone. The hip bones connected to the head bone. Head bone. Rib bone. <laughs> I gotta write this down. Bones connected to the rib bone. The rib bones connected to the leg bone. The leg bones connected to the her arm bone. <laughs> I'm getting confused. 
Leg bone connected to the arm bone. Yikes! What is it? What's wrong? Why did you leave me again? Boo! Ha 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 ha! The Chuck! But I killed you! You didn't kill me, you little worm moron! I was already a ghost when you met me. You just destroyed my spiritual essence. A favor that I will now return. Ah! Wow, what a dream. Hmm. Very odd. I think we actually have it on here. Yeah. So yes, there's the uh the song which Guybrush wrote out while he was passed out. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, and the oar's broken. Gee, guess it was an antique. <laughs> it's not too useful in its present form. Well, we can't get up the tree. Because the oars broke. Hmm. How will we fix the ore? Hmm. How much more are we going to do? Uh, let me think. I think I might continue until we get this map piece. <clears throat> so, let us go to Scav Island. We have to sail all the way back there. I don't know what kind of demented compass he's using, but... If we didn't just pay $20, 20 pieces of eight in the beginning, I'd say that he's just trying to run the meter, but... Okay, well we do know a carpenter. So let's go in here. Uh, <clears throat> give the broken oar to the woodsmith. Uh, excuse me, could you take a look at this? Hmm, looks like a massive fracture. If you're going to be using this, I'd better reinforce it for you. Here you go, boy. Steel shank. Alloy splints. Better than you. Oh, thanks. We didn't even have to pay for that. Wait a moment. This looks like he stuck a stick on it. It looks better, stronger, faster. Can I use it with a woodsmith? I don't think that needs a paddling. <laughs> That's paddling. <clears throat> okay, let's go to Dread Ship. And we go to Booty Island again. And we'll go to the big tree. With our new reinforced... Uh, what's it called? Reinforced ore. Use reinforced ore with hole. There we go. Use plank. It's already in use. Pick up plank. Use plank with hole. Step on plank. Pick up reinforced door. Use reinforced door with hole. Hmm, I think I get the idea. Yeah, thanks. You gotta do it automatically. Thank you. And there's a neat little, uh... Treehouse up here. Multiple treehouses. There's a window. There's nothing interesting in there. Okay. What about up here? There's a telescope. I always wondered who put this up here. Nice telescope. Can we get it? Yoink. Oh, we can. Uh, let's go to here. Oh, that's a... <laughs> that's that seagull from the first game again. From Loom originally, also. 
so look at pile it's hundreds and hundreds of maps is the seagull eating the maps look at the bird that's the bird that stole my map well elaine's map no way he looks like he bites can we like shoo him okay can we pick up the maps i don't want them all i and i can't tell which one's governor marley's Ah, uh, well, if we can't tell which of the maps is the uh, proper one, then we're going to have to find someone who does. If we remember, and if we remember, uh, Guybrush knows which one it is. So let's go get him. Hey, doggy. Okay, dog. You're coming with me. Look at dog. Oh, what a cute little thing. Okay, let's get back to the tree. I love it when adventure games just pull the infinite inventory thing to the... to ridiculous ends. Or ridiculous extremes. Hey, thank you. He starts doing it immediately. Okay. Use... Use dog with pile. It's crazy, but it might just work. Whoa. Hello? Little guy brush? Good boy. Run along home now. <laughs> now that's a good dog. Oh, right, I got the first map piece. Yay. Hmm. Okay. Well, we see a bit of the coastline. And a big, like, fish thing. Though so only one piece isn't going to be much use to us. So, that's a bit of progress. Uh. You can already tell that this game is quite a bit longer than the original. Which is good. It's, um... I enjoy it. I enjoy the puzzles also in this. Not that they're puzzles really for me anymore, because I've played through this so many times. But still enjoyable if only for the witty dialogue but we will part two and we'll leave monkey island 2 here for the night with it we found one piece of the map now we've only got three more to go and we're already actually looking at our inventory uh, we are on the way to getting the other parts some of the items i've picked up for random seemingly random reasons are going to be used later on anyway so. yes but that will be it for monkey island 2 for tonight thank you very much for joining me and i hope you'll join me for the next one i will stop the recording here